Hi, it's Pavel with another C Sharp homework. Uh, we will be creating an app that writes uh, our display in a console window the power of the integer 2, like 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and so on, forth. And we're supposed to loop it 40 times and see what happens. Again, this is a homework from C Sharp 2012 How to Program book. And um, chapter 5, exercise 33. So this is fairly simple, just a basic loop, uh, nothing really too intense. So let's do the index, of course, uh, which is uh, going to be the multiple of 2. And uh, integer result. We'll initialize it to zero, and we need a counter for the loop. Counter equals zero. Let's initialize it to zero. We'll start from zero based. So while counter is less or equal forty, we're supposed to loop forty times. The result we will, which we will display will be the multiples uh, equals math dot power and uh, index, which is the multiple of 2 and 2. Now the index will be changing. The index will be, uh, you know, 2, then 4. Then eight and so forth, but it's always multiple of two or power of two. Now, uh, I have an error here. Cannot implicitly convert type double to int. Oh, well, you know what? Let's just make the result double. There you go. It's it's uh, th this method. Uh, uh, ask for a double and I had it as an integer so it's, I can just convert it, I mean I can just initialize it as a double right away that way I don't have to do any conversions uh, okay so we have that now let's display the result uh, right line and what do we have? How do I gonna? Mm, all right, the number that was supplied uh, is gonna be a number with zero uh, decimals to the power of two equals, and let's do another placeholder with no decimals. Uh, actually, I forgot the uh, quotes in the formatting. And now, so this will be the original power, I mean the original number, so that's the index. And it will be the result. In other words, it will, it will read 2 to the power of 2 equals result, which is 4. And then it goes to the next iteration, which index. Now we will have to increase or by multiple of two. Uh, so it so that when it comes back for the second iteration, it will read uh, index will now equals four. So it will read four to the power of two equals sixteen, and so and then. And so forth. But it doesn't like it somehow for some reason. No other method takes three arguments. Uh, I don't see anything. Counter plus plus. You have to increase the counter. Obviously for the loop. Index result. 
I don't understand why it, what it's asking. Uh, yeah, I know three arguments. String dot format. Is that what it wants? Oh, there you go. Okay, so we have that. For some reason, it wouldn't take the console that right line. It wanted because I'm using the uh, placeholders. Okay, so uh, let's see what happens. And we cannot really see anything. Read line. So now we should be able to see something, hopefully. And it's really not doing anything. All right. Um, mm -hmm. well, let's see what happens if we go to like only four. Nothing. So let's uh, debug. see what is happening there all right so let's go through first one so resolve equals four which is true because index two to the power of two is four so string format now equals uh, oh string format is not really not outputting anything that's why we don't see anything Uh, what if I do something like string output? Output equals output equals this, and we will console that right line output. Let's see if that's gonna do anything. Ah, there we go. Okay, so uh, they wanted us to loop 40 times, but uh, I already know what's gonna happen. It's gonna crash because the numbers are too big. Remember, we're storing the result in double, which is, uh, and this is like, I don't know how many billions, which the uh, double is not capable of holding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So let's see if we can do fourteen loops without crashing it. Yes, we can. We do fifteen. Ah, we still can. All right. Uh, it's actually it seems like we can do. I don't know. Ready? No, it already get, goes to negative. So it looks like twenty-nine. Maybe the magic number for the double in this case. Yes, it is. We didn't crash it, and we got two to the power of two is four. Four to the power of two is sixteen. Eight is sixty-four. Sixteen is two fifty-six, and so forth. All the way to uh, what is this? One billion uh, seventy-three million and some change. So the power of two equals whatever that number is. <laughs> but the assignment says we are supposed to look for uh, look forty times and see what happens. Well, the our result uh, is not capable of holding such high numbers. So. That what happens, but if you run it uh, 29 times, which is seems to be the maximum, then uh, it will uh, still manage. So let's recap. Uh, we come, uh, we loop through the counter. In this case, 29 times. Uh, our result is always equal to uh, the power of two. 
of index, which is initialized by a two, and at the end of the loop it is multiplied by two, so it will it will keep increasing exponentially. Then uh, I capture it, uh, the result or the whole string, the formatted string in my variable called output, and then I output my output. I display it on the screen. Like I said, I uh, multiply the index by by two for the next round for the next number, and I will of course have to increase the counter for the next uh, iteration of the loop. So there you have it, fairly simple. Hope it helps you, and I'll see you next time. Take care.